We're going to perform a right stain on our dried peripheral smears. It consists of three solutions, a fixative, first stain, and second stain. We have two different setups the individual stains and coping jars with screw lids and a disposable kit set that has just a covering on top of it. But they're the same stain and we perform the same procedures with them. First we want to turn on our faucet cold water with a gentle stream flowing because we will need to rinse the stain, excess stain, off of our slides. Okay. So our first specimen, we take the lids off of all the jars and turn them inside up, behind them so they're out of the work surface. And we have our dry smear. Using the label as the handle, we're going to put it into the fixative. And our directions say all of these are five one-second dips. However, the fixative, you cannot over-process, so we just want to leave it in there a few seconds to make sure that it gets good and fixed to the slide. Otherwise, we lose all of our blood. We need to have some gauze ready that once we remove from the fixative, we hold the end of the slide against the gauze briefly to blot the excess off. We immediately go into the first staining solution for five one second dips. Once she has the fifth dip, then she will remove the slide, touch the gauze gently to blot it, and immediately go into the second staining for five one second dips. Immediately after the fifth one, she's going to take it over to the sink and holding it under the stream of water, backside against the water, briefly flip it over to the blood surface to rinse all areas well until the water runs clear. At this point, you never want to blot again. It will make impression on your blood smear and ruin it for you. We do want to hold it up on the end briefly. And we're going to set it, label down in our drying rack. Now we have our stain slide. Okay, let's do this again. I'm going to go over here and use our smaller staining kit. So we're going to put our dried smear in the fixative, allow it to sit, and give it a little slosh to make sure it's covered very well. And we still have the water running. You always want the water running before you get started. Just going to blot the end. Then immediately begin the five dips in the first stain solution. Five one seconds. Let me do make sure that it gets good and covered. After the fifth dip, blot gently on the end only. And then go to the second stain. The same thing. Five one second dips. And then immediately over to the running water. back side against the water. Gently flip it over to the blood side a few times back and forth until your water runs clear. And then label side down. She's going to set it in the drying rack. We will not touch these again until they're dry. 